How's it going guys? My name is Savarsh and today my baby's getting some new shoes. So if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for showing up. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe if you like what you see. This is my 2008 Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, and it is under construction right now. I'm actually doing a lot of work to it, and it's currently not in driving shape, mainly because it doesn't actually have any wheels at the moment. Well, actually not mainly, mainly because uh, the engine is completely taken apart. But today we're gonna be focusing on the wheels, or lack thereof. So some of you will have remembered that I had my wheels powder coated, the uh, Strass forged CNC'd custom wheels made for this car. Now, I just got the call that the wheels are ready to be picked up, and I am really excited, really excited. So, uh, let me actually take you around the car just so I can show you where they're gonna go. Excuse the mess, but here is the car, and I can't wait to get these wheels on. Now, the thing I'm a little bit concerned about are these calipers. The calipers are blue. They don't match with anything on the car. Uh, I think we're gonna be ending up painting those. They don't look good. They don't look good with the color scheme of anything else on this car. But for those of you that forgot what the original wheels, well, the wheels that I got this car with look like, then here's a picture. No, I did like the red color. I actually dig it a lot. I just don't think that it worked well for this car. I think that it was a little bit too loud and maybe if the car had a wrap on it or I wanted to be a little bit more flashy, but that's not me, that's not my style. I did mention to you guys that I do want to have this look a little bit like the Spider Performante, uh, something really, really clean and elegant. I'm, uh, I'm excited, I'm rambling, so let's get to Injuku. Ta-da. Oh man, that, that looks freaking awesome, man. Let's put it in the sun. Yeah, let's put it in the sun. Is that heavy? Is that a, is that a heavy it's, wheel? It's not terrible, really. Yeah, that looks really nice. Wow. That's actually like alarmingly similar to yeah my to what wheels. to what you got yeah oh, dude that looks so good so this is a color called Cosmetallic it's the best name ever yeah it's a really cool name and uh, also it's it's like it has this like translucent quality and also it's a um, has a clear coat on it so you think that red calipers or I did a little more thinking today actually on the caliper mm -hmm. situation red of course is gonna have the classic look uh huh. What if you do silver? Silver would, would be, f see, I, I have no problem with silver, but I think it'll clash with that. That's a, a gray and silver, I, I don't think. But they're part of the same family. Oh, we're not, we're not putting it in there. No, no, these are, these are much too nice. These are going inside. Ah. I'm putting seatbelts on them. Look at this, guys. This looks freaking amazing. Now, I've never had wheels powder coated before, but if they all look this good, then that's definitely what I'm gonna do from now on. This looks like a brand new wheel. So for those of you who don't know how powder coating works, I'll give you a 30 second explanation. First, the wheel is dipped into a chemical bath and it's cleaned, all the paint, all the debris, all the uh, muck and grime is removed from the wheel. Then it's uh, cleaned again. Then it's put on a rack where uh, a small current is, uh, I, I believe it negatively charges the metal. And the powder, it's basically like a dry paint. So the powder is uh, is shot from a gun, from like an air powered gun, uh, onto the metal. And the powder is positively charged, so it sticks to the metal really, really well. Uh, the powder is then uh, brushed off, like the excess powder, but uh, it provides a really uniform uh, look. After which it's put in an oven and uh, allowed to dry, and it creates this really cool effect it's really very hard and after that it's clear coated just to make sure that it has that extra bit of protection uh, against the elements because these are wheels after all but that's uh, basically how powder coating works and it works I mean you can tell that it's it's just a really really good job so to get these looking like this I had to pay about 530 bucks which is not a bad price considering that these are pretty big wheels there's a lot of a lot of uh, area here and uh, also the powder coating job is very on point it, it looks absolutely brand new Th these are flawless so I would very much recommend going to Scott you can check it out at Injuku Racing all Scott's stuff is going to be in the link in the description below but these wheels won't be complete without a set of brand new tires so let me show you what I got so my friends at Michelin sent me four brand new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's these things are 
awesome. So these are not like the R888s that I had before. Those are R compound tires. They're meant mostly for the track uh, and they will wear out very, very quickly. But these, these are a street tire, but a ultimate, ultimate performance street tire. You can see that the tread is just straight up. These things do not play around. And I got the sizes I needed, uh, 295, 30, 19, and 235, 35, 19. These things are gonna be amazing. Now, I haven't actually driven on these. I have driven on their older Pilot Sports when I went to Leipzig to uh, drive the Porsche 911. In fact, in about a week or so, uh, in about a little more than a week, I'm actually going on the Michelin Pilot Experience, which is in Florida, it's at Sebring, and uh, I get to drive on these tires, as well as some competitor's tires, just to check them out in some really, really cool cars. So you guys are gonna see that as well. But for now, this build continues, and uh, we're actually gonna put these wheels, these aren't wheels, they're the tires. These tires on those wheels in my truck in there. And uh, we have to take it to, I don't, I'm not gonna take it to the regular shop. I usually go to Lake Tire and Auto, but uh, I wanted to go to a shop that specializes in this sort of thing because these are really, really low profile tires. And I wanna make sure that the wheels don't get scuffed up. So I'm actually gonna take it all the way to a shop in Orlando. So without further ado, let's get this back in and let's go to the shop. So we made it to Dynasty Auto, and uh, this is actually the place that I saw in um, one of the Obsessed Garage videos, Matt Mormon's videos, and uh, if he had his Porsche GT3 worked on here, then I should have no problem with my Lamborghini wheels. So let's go check that out. Guys, the wheels and the tires are mated finally, and take a look at how this looks. Oh, oh man, this is a good looking combination. Wow. So the Pilot Sport 4S has really set these things off, and I hope and I know that these things are gonna be really, really good performers. And in the light, you can see this nice sparkle. It's very subtle, but it is there. So, let's go home and get these things on the car. And boom, look at that. It looks so good. It looks so much more refined and elegant. Now, this is just a mock-up. I still have to do those brakes, uh, and I still have to make sure that the brakes are in working condition. I'm gonna bleed them, and uh, also we have all that mess to do. Uh, in the next episode, I will be putting in all the mechanical components and we're, we're gonna be buttoning this up so we can take our first drive. But let's take a closer look at this thing. Now, God, it just looks so good. And I love the profile. You can see the tire from the side. Yeah, this is, this is just awesome. Now this is very, very similar to what the wheels were before. Uh, nothing about the stance changed. The tire size is exactly the same, but the, the color just sets it off so much better. And it's the same thing in the front. So big shout out to Dynasty Tire for putting these tires on. It was actually harder than I thought to put something like this on a wheel because people didn't want to, uh, well, other shops didn't want to deal with the low profile of these tires and they're even lower on that wheel over there. Um, yeah, I, I called around to a lot of shops and they said they wouldn't touch these. And uh, the ones that would, they, they didn't have availability until after spring break. So uh, Dynasty Tire, they said, yeah, it's no problem. Literally just come by and it was uh, like 35 bucks a tire, mounted and balanced. And they did do the Road Force Balance, which is a more dynamic balance. It actually uh, accommodates the height of the tire at different measurements, uh, at different uh, intervals to uh, basically give you the best uh, balancing possible, which is really, really good on a car like this. And big shout out to Michelin. Michelin sent me out 
these tires and I couldn't thank them enough. Now I can't wait to put these tires on the car and uh, actually get the car running, but we do need to do a few things before that happens. But uh, I would recommend that anybody get these Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. They are literally the best tire that you can get for a performance car. Actually, a quick aside, I was just talking to two guys, one guy with a Jaguar XJR and the other with a uh, McLaren 720S and they have OEM Pirelli tires on them. And I always ask, how do you like those tires? And they go, eh, they're all right. But next tire change, I'm going for the Pilot Sport 4S's. And that's what they told me. So um, these tires must be good. They definitely have a good reputation. So I would recommend you to get these things if you're into performance driving and you have a car like this that should make a ton of power. Also a big shout out to Scott, the powder coater that made these awesome uh, Cosmetallic wheels. Yeah, they look, they look really, really good. But uh, that is gonna be the end of the episode. Now, a lot of you have told me that there's no reason why I should be worrying about the cosmetics on this car when there's so much mechanical to do. And while that is sort of true, uh, I'm getting to things as they come. So I took out the engine, so I realized that I can get to a lot of things when the engine is out. So that's why I did the gold wrap. Um, that's why I started doing all the, uh, the painting stuff because when everything's in, it's gonna be that much harder to get everything out. Now in the next episode, that's where all you guys wishing that I do mechanic work, that's where all your dreams come true. So uh, I'm gonna be putting in that transmission, I'm gonna be buttoning everything up, and I'm gonna be mocking everything up because I am redoing that exhaust. Uh, we're actually we're actually uh, doing some real good welding work on this car. And uh, I have a friend who's gonna help me with that. And uh, he's gonna teach me to weld and uh, he's gonna teach me, well, he's not gonna teach me to weld. He's gonna teach me how to weld a lot better. Um, and we're gonna use a lot of different things. We're gonna do aluminum welding, TIG welding, and a lot of stuff that you guys will really geek out on and I will really geek out on. So uh, having said that, um, if you guys want to contact me for any reason, you want to let me know uh, how you like these wheels, please let me know. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, I understand that to each his own. Um, but uh, let me know uh, in the comments below or you can reach me at the Real Tavares. That is Instagram and Twitter, facebook.com slash AskTavares and AskTavares at gmail.com is my email. I read every single one and you guys have been really awesome with uh, giving me comments and well wishes and uh, just cheering me on for this project because sometimes, I mean, this project is daunting, but it's gonna get done and uh, I can't wait till it gets done. So uh, you can reach me there. And um, if you want to buy a shirt, this is the original Wrench Every Day shirt. You can buy that in the link below. I have the I Am The Warranty t-shirt along with the new style Wrench Every Day shirt. And I will have new styles coming up. So all that stuff is gonna be down below. But until next time, this is me telling you that on cars like this that now have awesome wheels and still need a lot of work, you guys need to wrench every day.